A sea of clouds, surging rivers, trees, and chirping birds. Chinese people have always been in awe of Mother Nature. For thousands of years, Chinese craftsmen and women have been incorporating elements of her beauty into daily life, including artwork and everyday outfits. Jing embroidery, or Jing Xiu, is a good example. And it's all about a needle and fine silken thread, as well as high aesthetics and craftsmanship. Tian Li is a fifth-generation inheritor of Jing embroidery. The 31-year-old has been working behind this stretcher for 10 years. Dazzling is the right word for the rich colors and vivid patterns. To me, it's more like moving nature onto a piece of silk cloth. 我们有这样一件就是手工的衣服也好，装饰性也好，就是可以看到我们这种嗯非常优秀的这种民族的文化，能够提升我们自己的文化自信，就是我们国人自己的一种凝聚力。From the Tang Dynasty to the late Qing Dynasty, imperial embroidery, the predecessor of Jing embroidery was mainly used on robes of emperors and nobles for over a century. Patterns like the dragon were for the exclusive use of the emperor himself. In history, if one was found to use a dragon pattern in his clothing, he would be definitely sent to his final home the next day, on conspiracy charges in modern language. The turn of the times at the end of the 19th century saw many embroidery workshops spring up in Beijing. Embroiderers inherited some needling methods of imperial styles, making patterns, forms and lines more folkloric and down-to-earth. That was when Jing embroidery came into being, Jing referring to Beijing. 中国人就讲究这些图币有意义、文币吉祥，就是这种一个小小的物件可能会让大家觉得它寄托了太多的这种美好的寓意。所以大家更愿意去把它送给我们的亲朋好友，就是一些美好的祝愿。那接下来我更
其实我在想过这个问题，男孩子他会喜欢这个吗？但是我就没有想到啊，就是当他第一次跟我说他想来秀的时候，我觉得，嗯，可以，你可以试一下。然后他就会让我帮他穿针、引线，然后过来就跟我很认真地跟我说说，妈妈，你要教我扎在哪里，然后怎么做，就是我要告诉他之后，他很耐心地去做。这种家族的这种脉络，有种血液里，其实就是，就是就是精秀已经融入到我们的血液当中了。它不再是单单的是我们把它看成一个，呃，工作也好，其他的爱好也好，它不是，它就是深深的刻在我们的血液里的一个事情。嗯。There's a Chinese saying, "Time makes it inevitable that in every profession." The younger generation replaces the older. It is not necessarily an eternal truth, but for this particular family, I've already seen a pattern that continues to grow and evolve. 谢谢 CGTN Beijing.